It's worth reflecting that whilst a lot of modern politics is done inside a 19th century building, Parliament, a lot of it is also done on our streets, on air, online. So why have I come to the smoking room of the National Liberal Club in Whitehall? They don't obviously smoke in here anymore. Well, because clubs have always had, and to a certain extent still do, a role in modern politics. There's the Great Fire of 1834, which uh, not only devastates Parliament, but for the next 30 years, Parliament is a building site. And you can't run the country from a building site. So a lot of the functions that we now associate with Parliament happen because MPs go in exile into their clubs, and they are literally running the country from London clubs. So Parliament's been a building site. What do they actually come up with? Well, Parliament starts to commission club architects, people like Charles Barry, who's best known for the Reform Club, for the Travellers Club, and they ask for a new parliamentary building that's basically modelled on a London club because they've spent 30 years getting used to all the creature comforts and all of the conveniences of a London club. So this is why the parliamentary estate has smoking rooms, tea rooms. And have clubs played any role politically in the sort of modern political world? The nature of clubs, the nature of their being designed with these small conspiratorial alcoves and that element of plausible deniability as a plotter's paradise is such that when these sorts of things have happened, and I can think, for instance, of um, party leadership campaigns that have been plotted in clubs, but the people involved tend to disclaim them very, very quickly. The National Liberal Club clearly wears its political colours, but today many members are interested, not involved, in politics. However, there is a club that was, is and one imagines always will be a political beast. The dining room of Torydom on Earth, you might say, the Carlton. It was founded for that express purpose. There is uh, a very marked political element. Um, there is a political committee that uh, organises uh, a programme of speakers and uh, uh, policy discussions uh, and uh, very usefully um, as far as the Tory party is concerned the political committee is responsible for a political fund uh, to help uh, candidates in marginal constituencies uh, during general election campaign. It might not look it but clubs have modernised. Women may not be on the walls but are full participating members in almost all of them and though the hours are more social than serious business the tradition of political discourse is still being maintained.